Welcome to D20 Discoveries. Today we're continuing our adventures to Greece. We will be trying more Greek snacks from the Universal Yums Box. And again, not a sponsor. So come and join us as we finish up this adventure. encounter is candles almond shortbread that before you even saying it correctly it, yep sorry I, at this point i'm i'm sorry oh. if that is not that is just covered in y'all that... know you're not columbia right <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> i mean that's a very interesting Holy way to shit. package it I'm so scared. We're going to be covered in white stuff. I, I'm frightened. That is <laughs> messy. And oh, I don't my. like almond to begin with. That is super messy. Oh, this is going to be bad. I've never had anything quite this like this covered in besides white powder, a damn powdered donut. Besides Reminds me of wedding last... cookies. No. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nope. Yeah, these taste like the wedding cookies I've had before. What? I don't like almond wedding cookies. I'm not sure if they're. I wasn't expecting it to be crunchy, the all, this whole thing to be crunchy. Hmm. I kind of expected it to be soft and like chewy. So that yeah. was, uh, it was just different than I expected. But, but I, just that's gotta, not it. I just gotta say, why? I, I don't get it. it. It's a three. It's okay. It tastes like every other um, wedding cookie I've had. They've all been like some sort of almond with like a powdered sugar. That's a two outside. for me. I I'm gonna give it a one. I didn't. I don't enjoy it. Uh uh. Whatsoever. I I I don't want this again. I I just question why. <laughs> it seems like a complete mess of an item. Oh, it is because it went down my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were hungry. Have you uh, fed them? I I don't know. I don't. You don't want to feed it this, anyways. <laughs> I didn't know my <laughs> boobs were sentient and had their own stomach. <laughs> well, these uh these almond shortbread cookies did. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a definite fail. Mm -hmm. I, I I just it did not enjoy it. No. And I could barely get my mouth on it. <laughs> Our next encounter is Toddy's Corn Puffs, Peanut and Hazelnut. I don't think I've ever had peanut and hazelnut like oh. together. Usually you just eat them separate. You don't have two different nut flavors at the same time. Oh, these but, smell uh, pretty good. But they do smell mm -hmm. pretty good. It and says I'll... peanut, but it almost tastes like a, like a really rich peanut butter. Like... You mean it smells like? Yeah, it smells like. It smells like Captain Crunch. Tastes awful. <laughs> no. That was disgusting. I like the consistency, but I don't like the flavor. <sighs> it's it's it like... almost had no flavor. Yeah. Kind of, like... All I can taste is hazelnut. Yeah. It just tasted like hair. Crunchy air. I don't want air to crunch. It, it, it was like very stale, crunchy air that had a hint of peanut. The you know? smell was the best part about it. Yes, they smell delicious. Mm hmm But they taste like but dust. That's where they leave anything to be desired. I don't... I was really hopeful for this as something to be good, but they just... 
Yeah, this wasn't it. They no. were not good. I, I don't... I think this is the first chip from this company that we haven't liked. I could be wrong, but I I don't think we... Why don't they have flavor? Yeah, I'm I really... Don't... I'm really surprised because we had tried oregano chip from them, and I don't know the other one, but they, the the flavor was always spot on. But this is like so lacking. I don't understand how they have such a good scent, and they yeah. taste like dust. It was like trying yeah. to eat a bad corn pop. Yeah, it's like a packing peanuts. It just <laughs> has more flavor. I don't think I've ever tried to eat a packing peanut, my dear. Have well, that's you? what it. Well, that's what it tasted like. Because it was just air. And they do smell so good, though. I'm so surprised. I'm I'm quite upset. Because everything was leading up to something to be delicious. And uh, it wasn't. The problem is you just admitted to eating pecking peanuts. I did. I just ate one. I, it was a scent packet peanut. But, <laughs> scent I mean, it said, peanut. It, it said peanut in it. Maybe that's what they meant. Huh. I'm sorry, but uh, this is an incredibly bad failure. I rated a one. One. Just one. So. 30. Blech. Yep. I don't ever want to have them again. I have any flavor. <laughs> the next encounter are Coco's Toffees. It doesn't have a flavor. It's just toffee. Usually it's like a flavor oh, of toffee. It's purple. Toffee it, is a flavor, but it's usually like a caramel flavor. Yeah. It and is purple. And the wrapping isn't coming I would off. say the wrapping is, is staying with. Oh my. Coming for a ride. Yeah, yes. but I don't. That is an interesting flavor or uh, color. That's like. Mauve. Uh, lilac? That too. Mastic Road flavored candy. What's that? Okay, I don't like coffee. First of all, that taste that was trickery. <laughs> that was like a delayed flavor. I I chewed it like five times and nothing. All of a sudden, this just. <laughs> Uh, it literally tastes like I just ate a plant. Yep. Like I just ate a rose petal. Tasting. Rose petals taste better. We, I, we didn't see the uh, the flavor of it until after we opened the package. And, and had already put it in our mouths. Mastic rose flavored candy. Well, now we know why it's purple. That taste. Why do you want a rose? What is people's obsession with rose flavor and rose scent? It's nasty. Nasty. Yeah. Wow. Do you remember? It hits you late too. Those Bath and Body Works rose scented bath beads. No. Thank no. Goodness. Oh, what? I got them as a present one year. Oh That's God. What that smell reminded me of. I hate rose. I hate it. I. It yeah, gross. that was awful. Zero. I feel cheated out of a good snack. Zero for sure. Yeah. That's I... not toffee. No, that's. I literally chewed it five or six times before I got any flavor. And then the flavor came really strong and it was gross. Yeah, I agree. So, no. A critical fail, I give it a zero. <laughs> it tastes like sour milk with rose in it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was very, very unpleasant. And I was really hopeful. What do you rate it? Did you One. One. Yeah. Oh. I'm I'm with you. That's... Somehow you got higher than us. We said zero. Yeah. This this it shouldn't be food. I, it really it shouldn't be food. It should I No. I'm sorry if you like these, but they're awful. It tastes like I just tried to eat body spray. The next encounter we have is Candles Almond Baklava. If you can get it open. I will say it is not anything to do with this company. Oh, oh, oh. I just don't oh, like baklava. Oh. So we'll see if I like it. Um, It's sticky. It's all over me. Gra grab a couple of napkins. <laughs> all right. 
Now that we have the proper utensils to eat this baklava, let's try again. Let's try again. It's sticky. I mean, it's crispy. It looks good. Oh my yeah, God. it looks like really well made baklava. Yeah, I'm excited because I've never liked baklava, but it looks like this was made properly. So I've never had it before. Oh, I've had some really good baklava, but I don't like almonds. Um, I don't like nuts. I love nuts, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tree look nuts! At, look at all the fil- oh, layers ew. of the phyllo dough. There's probably like 40, it seems like. It Maybe even should more. be, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. It just did this. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so juicy. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> That's why she said. <laughs> oh, I touched it again. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what she said. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just the center. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> just, I would say, just take a little bit and go. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I gotta live without eating that. Yeah. That's good. It's a two. The texture is nice. It has good flakiness, but I don't like almonds. So it's hard to like this when I don't like the main ingredient. Solid four. It has the right amount of honey to where you can get plenty of honey flavor, but it's not saturated in honey, so it's soggy. Shenanigans! It is all over (laughs) us! Obviously, the honey is everywhere else. That's why it's not in there. Trust me, you. I've had baklava be soggy, and it is not good. That is not soggy. It's very nice and crisp. It's got yeah. a good flavor. I would absolutely have that again. That's fantastic. I I, I give it a solid three. I'm not a huge fan of almond. I, it's okay. Um, I think if it was a a different flavor that was more prominent uh, that I actually do really like, yeah, it would be a five. Yeah, I I I, I, I love the texture. The flavor of the phyllo dough with the honey, excellent. I just, the the almond wasn't my favorite. That's just a preference thing. Mm-hmm. So I do give this particular one a three, but I could see it being a five. Yeah. I really do. That's fantastic. So. I just don't appreciate that we're all covered in it. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think that might be more the packaging, the fact that it did go across the world to get to us. That's fair. But, you know, considering it came across the world, still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> The next encounter we have is Piran Grape Must Soft Cookie. I'm afraid because I've never seen or heard of anything called Grape Must before. Yeah, that just doesn't, it looks like a donut. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does look like a donut. Very, very soft and uh, fluffy donut. Kind of interesting. I'm, I'm just wondering what must flavor is. Oh. That smell. Whatever the must flavor is, is that smell that is... That doesn't smell good. No. And I really don't want to put this in my mouth. <laughs> I, I'm quite afraid, I will say. I might take a smaller bite. Nope. It's not good. The grapes were rotten. You should have thrown them away. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It tastes like it's overdone. It, it tastes doesn't... like it's missing ingredients. Yeah, it has full must. It's not a cookie. It's not a cookie at all. No. It's just sour. That is not good. It's a dusty, musty cookie. Ugh. I don't know what must flavor it is, but you need to take it out of this great cookie. <laughs> because... Dear Lord. One. I, one. I hesitate to give it a one, but I must. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be a one. That's something you give your kids when they're bad. Yeah. Not even then. That falls under cruel and unusual. Uh, no one needs this much punishment. <laughs> Up 
our next encounter is Fedon Crisinia Basil Pesto Flavor. They're supposed to be some sort of mini breadstick. Those I'm really good. excited for these. They they sound good. Hmm. Um, they s- smell weird. <laughs> Great. I like pesto. Pesto is usually really good on stuff. Yeah, because it's just a bunch <laughs> of herbs and yeah. oil, but. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Yeah. I think I have a crouton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're good. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it is a mini breadstick. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but breadstick insinuates that it might be soft, but it is really crunchy. Mm. But I, I like it. I would totally put that on a salad. Oh, yeah, I would put that on a salad any day. Yeah, that's absolutely snackable. I really enjoy it. I'd say a solid three. It's got oh a really good flavor. It's got a nice crunch. It's not too hard. Yeah. Um, oh it's God. refreshing. Freak salad. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're used for. Not even trying to be funny. That would be fantastic in a Greek salad. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The extra flavor, the crunch. Oh Honestly, my God. I just eat it in a thing of muffalato. A, a what? Muffalato. It's a, it's a olive relish. <gasps> That does not sound good. I, I love olives, so it's good I, for me. I love olives too, but I, I've never heard of that, and it doesn't really? sound yeah. good. I've, I've, oh, good. I've never heard of muffalato, and I don't want to eat a muffalato. <laughs> so <laughs> I gotta go with a four on these. Sorry. Yeah, I'll agree. I'll, I'll give it a four as well. I think that was a very pleasing taste. Awful smell, though. <laughs> very, very pleasing taste. That's why you don't always go by the smell. Uh, no. So. <laughs> Typically, if it doesn't make it past my nose, it's not going in my mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, well, good thing you didn't smell it. <laughs> Next encounter we have is Mino Snut Bars, Sesame, and Honey. I'm afraid. That sounds like a terrible combination. Yeah. It, it it sounds like two things that shouldn't be combined, and it legitimately looks like there's just a million set pieces of sesame in it. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, well, it was giving me Nature Valley vibes. <laughs> I'll let you break the other brick off. Thanks, now babe. I'm. A- that legitimately looks like it is a million. Of ses- of sesame. I feel like I should write an apology letter to my dentist. <laughs> oh, uh, this will crack his tooth. Oh, good thing. <laughs> I just had all my wisdom teeth out. <laughs> it doesn't want me to eat it. Christ. How am I supposed to eat it if I can't even oh. barely break it apart? Nope. Why? I can't bite through it. Mm. Uh uh-uh. uh. That tastes awful. Why you do this? That tastes awful and it took way too much effort. Uh. It's, it's like they toasted the sesame beforehand. And now it sticks to my But they just burnt it. Yeah, that was. It tastes disgusting. like burnt sesame hardened into a brick with honey. That tastes awful. The Zero. honey flavor is good, but it's masked by literally a burnt flavor. Zero. It's. I would say it has a good sesame flavor. It tastes exactly like I think sesame should taste. But it's. Do, do you taste the burnt? Oh, I think you're just tasting the sesame. No, because um, we like sesame on other stuff. But that's because, not it. To me, it just tastes like pure sesame. But uh, I would say the sesame is definitely overwhelming. So. Yeah. Quite pungent. I I well, it's am. It's gonna be a one for me. I don't want yeah. this ever again. Yeah, it'll give it'll one for me as well. I I thoroughly hated this. Yeah. I'm sorry if you eat it every morning, but uh, we will never have it again. Negative one zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's definitely a critical failure. This encounter is Fedahan's Halva Cream. Uh, I'm sorry, Velvet Cream with Halva Biscuits. 
Well, alrighty then. What I'm afraid of is everything that's had great potential so far. It just we have not liked it. So oh, no, I'm I really hoping these, these containers. I'm really hoping these are, are <laughs> delicious. It looks like a sleeve of cookies so far. We'll see if there's a million pounds of powder, and it doesn't look like it will be, but it looks like it should be. a gallon of syrup. <laughs> Are we safe huh. this time? Okay. Oh, yeah. all right. So it's some kind of baked mush with a pastry over it. Because that looks like it used to be mush, and now it's not. I'm not entirely certain. It looks like stuffing. Oh, I hope it's not stopping. All right, universe. Well, I don't know what halva is. Oh, God. Oh, that I... smell. Oh, no. Oh, that smells awful. Why did you make me smell it? Oh, my God. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh. I like oh. the. Uh, I, know. Oh. I like the consistency, but I don't like the flavor. Oh. That was not good. I gotta go with a one on that one. Oh. oh. Yeah. No. I'm okay losing right? myself. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not. I dripped it on myself. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't I know. What I did wrong, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it so much that I've lost it. Oh no, babe. I know, I gotta cover it up. I'm, so I'm sorry. It's a one. Oh. Yeah, that's I want to know what halva is because whatever it is, I don't want to have it again. Bad. That's what it is. Did y'all taste any cream in it? it I taste. I mean, I mean, it, it has like this little itty bit of soft something inside maybe that's what the cream is yeah it shouldn't be there well, no i like the texture i just didn't like the flavor uh, it, uh -huh. i agree if they made that with something that is, i actually like i think that would be really good it reminds me of those uh wafer cookies with like chocolate or strawberry or vanilla in them that are kind of like the center of kit kats but they don't have any frosting or anything on them i'm not sure what you're talking about the only oh. um they're just a sugar wafer cookie but it, the texture kind of reminded me of that, but just, I don't know what that flavor is, but I don't, I don't like it. I, no, I I've like never it heard of halva before. And I don't want to hear of it again. Yeah. I mean, it says halva biscuit. I don't know if that's the style of biscuit. I don't know if that's the no, flavor the that's inside, but whatever it is, don't make it with it again. <laughs> no halva cream for me. Thank no, you. no, 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 no. This is disgusting. I want to rate it a one. So far, the overall journey through Greece has been difficult. The worst item that we tried on this portion of the video was the rose flavored toffees. And the best was the Christina breadsticks. Yeah, I have to say the, the travel through uh, Greece was incredibly difficult. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We'll see you next time. Happy adventuring. So far, the overall journey through Greece was difficult. We've had a hard time. The best encounters we experienced were the toddies, oregano chips, the bruschettini chips, the Fragelli pomegranate candy, the Christina breadsticks, and the cherry juice. And the worst item in the encounter we came to was the rose toffees. They were disgusting. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We'll see you next time. Happy adventuring.